Maggie Flanagan teaches the master class at the Maggie Flanagan Studio. This 10-week class challenges professional actors on an individual level. In this short video, Maggie talks about her love and dedication to the highest form of acting, which is character acting. Well, it's the highest form of acting. I love character acting. If I were acting again, it would be, I'm a character actress. So I would love to put myself in the shoes of another character, another person, to breathe life in that part, blood, really catch the essence of that character. It's the highest form of acting, character acting. If you're working on a major part, such as Blanche Dubois in, in Streetcar, or Hedda Gabler, which are major parts, very, it's probably the hardest, some of the hardest parts for women and the most wonderful parts for women. What you have to bring to that is enormous. You know, you've got to bring, um, you've got to have a character idea. You've got to really understand psychologically that particular character. Um, and you have to bring yourself, it's never brought to you, you must bring yourself to that character. Really live the part, live in the shoes of that character. And that's not easy because you have to access certain aspects of yourself and where you're really planning to really go with yourself. You're really going to go full out in understanding it and living it. But that takes crafting. And you've got to know how to craft a part. You've got to know how to break down that script organically, not intellectually. Intellectual, you may read it, you know, intellectually one time. But the best way to read it is with an open heart and seeing what comes to the surface in you as you read it because you never know what will come to the surface in reading that part for the first time. And every time you work, if you're crafting well, and the choices you've made, and the acting idea, and the essence of the character, then when you're in rehearsal, some of that will begin to come to the surface. More as you do homework will come to the surface. But there is, in all actors, you must have an open channel so as you're working, as you're really listening and answering and responding and taking it personally, your homework organically begins to rise in you and produces behavior. But it's so exciting to work on an aspect of yourself that you may not be able to have in life, but you know it's there. And, um, I love it. I can't think of anything more wonderful than to work on a part and discover the part and discover the part in me organically because it is, if it's a leading part, my goodness, there's so much to digest. There's so much to um, chew on, you know, and you may not get all the part. You're working on a major part, get 70%, you're doing good. You're playing Medea, you're not going to get 100%, you die. You know, but if you get 70%, you're doing great. Same with Blanche, same with Hedda. You know, I'm think, speaking of women's part, San, Stanley, you know, you'll get a nut, you'll get, if you work hard, you're talented, and you playful out with yourself, you will get a good percentage of that part. And it will be yours. And if you work with ideas that are yours, nobody will do that part the same way you do it. And that's important because you don't want to copy someone. What you want to do is create it for yourself and live it out in every moment. You've got a lot of moving parts there that you must organically work on. And as you rehearse, those parts begin to become organic and at home in you. To learn more about working with Maggie, the Masterclass, or other professional acting programs at the studio, call 917-789-1599.